uh, mom, why would I do that? Like, I need to graduate with my class, but. <laughs> YouTube is your girl Masha Ashiki and I'm back with another freaking video. So today y'all I'm going to be giving y'all some advice. Let me give y'all some advice on college y'all. So let me tell y'all my story before I even got to college. So I do hair and my mom just kept giving me the option of you know going to beauty school first and then going to georgia state or college wherever i wanted to go but my hard-headed self was like no 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 let me go to school first because i'm like uh-uh mom why would i do that like i need to graduate with my class but it's not the same as college I me mean, as high school mode you're like it don't work like that y'all still probably not gonna graduate in the same class anyways so my heart had so did all the applications for you know college or whatever got accepted to three schools i didn't really apply to many i only applied to like three so got accepted to all three that i was um trying to go to or whatever so i ended up going to georgia state but gag is i started in the summertime. I get there, that shoot, that stuff was just like, dang. My friend had died a week before I started school. So I didn't really want to be there. It's like draining. Um, at first I was like, okay, maybe this would be a good distraction. But I got there and I was like, this ain't doing, this ain't doing nothing for me. I'm thinking about junk. Every day, all day. And I'm really just like, ready to be over it like i'm at that point i just wanted to end school so i didn't do that i continued or whatever finished the summer semester and then i went ahead and went to my into my fall semester y'all know how my summer went if y'all watched my previous video of my story time uh about my roommate nightmare if you didn't watch it you know, go, go that go, go that way. Go watch it. Go watch it. And you know why that was not really a good distraction. Because I was just going through more drama. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I went into, I finished my summer semester. And now I'm in, or I went, I finished, or did, however you say it. I went to... I continued. I continued into my fall semester. Fall semester was so much better than the summer. Yes, it was. But I didn't tell y'all about that. That's a part two to the roommate nightmare. Gotta tell y'all about it. Gotta tell y'all about it. So I did good this past semester or whatever. But going through that semester just made me really realize that i don't want to be in college like i don't want to be at your state i don't want to be at fam i don't want to be at nc uh state like i don't want to be in college period y'all like i just want to go get my cosmetology license and go do hair like that's all i want to do i don't need it or i may need it but it's just like, I feel like this is just too much. Like, college is a fun experience and something that you can never get back. Or you're never going to experience this anywhere else. But, y'all, let me just tell y'all one, one thing. Always go with your freaking good, okay? Always go with your good. Throughout the whole process of my senior year of picking where I, what I wanted to and what i wanted to do and where i wanted to go i kept second guessing myself like girl no you just need to go do hair but i always want to fulfill the dreams of my mother and making sure that all her children go to school i would have been in school it just wasn't like you know what she wanted but she supports me so it's like 
I still would have been okay if I had to just went to beauty school. But then again, she still wanted me to go to a regular institution. And I just really came to realize, like, college isn't for most of but regardless if it's for me or not, I already started, so I'm going to finish. So my advice to y'all is to always follow your heart and just, you know, do whatever you feel like is going to be good for you. College, I feel like this experience will help me in some ways or whatever. Like, you know, I will have an advantage above some of the other entrepreneurs that don't really understand the business aspect of what they're doing. They're not going to always know how to market already. They have to learn that. I'm learning that from professionals. Not saying that I'm going to be better than them. I'm not saying that at all. Because as you can see, these folks didn't go to college and they're doing great. They're living their life. They're living marvelous. Like, they're going to regardless always going to be good with or without college. I just feel like it's good for me to understand what Elise is and understand all the other stuff that comes into play that y'all don't get to see. Obviously, y'all see them marketing themselves because they're always going to promote. They're always going to show you good deals. They're always going to um, do specials on hair and stuff. That's them marketing itself. But you're not going to learn the aspect of what Elise is and, you know, how to open your own business. People could do that without a degree. But some people run. Mm -hmm. Some people run into bumps in a row because they don't know something. I will already have the knowledge before I open up anything. So I still may have bumps in a row, but it's not going to be like wasting my money. Because I met this one hairstylist. He owns a lot of salons. He owns a chain salon. And he told us because he did not know the business aspect of some of the stuff that he was going through. He lost a lot of money, which that's a risk as being an entrepreneur. But it's like, dang, if he had, you know, finished college, because he started, he didn't finish. If he had to finish college, he would know, don't do that. Because he signed a contract stating something about his rent or whatever. And he had the whole area with. Um, something that was connected to the whole building. So, when the thing went down, he was responsible for paying for that. Nobody else in the building was responsible because it wasn't on their property. It was technically on his. So, he was the one that had to replace it. So, you're losing money because you got all these people in the same building as you that don't have to pay nothing. When it could have possibly been them who messed it up, but because it's on your stuff, you had to pay for it. See, I don't want to ever have to go through it because that's, that's ridiculous. Very ridiculous. Like, who the f Who? Hmm. That, not me. Anyways, so it's like you just get to learn a lot of stuff with me in college. So, like I said, I just really feel... Like, uh, whatever you do, always follow your heart. Always follow your freaking heart, okay? Because this is the most stressful thing thus far in my life that I've had to deal with. Because I've been going back and forth like, should I drop out? Should I just keep it going? And blah, 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 blah. I just feel like if I drop out, I wasted seventeen thousand dollars of my money because just because you get these federal loans, baby, I still gotta pay them back. I still gotta pay them back. So I'm going to go to school, drop out, and pay them their money back for me to only have learned some basics I learned in high school. Who can do that? If I'm going to pay this money and have to pay them back, I might as well keep on freaking going so I can learn the real sh Bleep, 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 sorry. The real mm, so that I can understand what the F I'm doing in the real world. Because I have so many things that I aspire to do 
like it's so many things that I want to do but it's like I don't know where to start because guess who doesn't know the business side of it yet this girl this girl so it's like it's gonna be beneficial for me to stay in college so I guess this what y'all gonna like. Stay in college. I'm gonna stay. As y'all already know. Once again. If you watched the last video. I go to Georgia State. I do too much. But now. I go to Georgia State. So. Georgia State is really. A good school for business. And you know. I may have some opportunities coming. I never know. I'm not gonna count myself out like this mom, baby girl. No never. No never count yourself out, baby girl. Cause you know, you could do anything that you put your mind to, baby girl, baby girl. <laughs> now, but for real. Hold on. Thumbnail. I need like my diploma or something. Hold it up. No, yeah, but seriously, 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 I'm going to need y'all to follow your heart always. If you believe college isn't for you, don't do that shit with your parents because if you go to college and you're not there for you, you're going to waste your money. I've already witnessed a whole bunch of people splat, they gone already, and it's just our first year. I'm glad they figured it out this year instead of waiting, like some people, being in college for about six years, paying all this money, and don't even want to be there. Like, they don't know what they want to do with their life. So, if you're in my situation, I'm going to finish, guys. I'm going to finish. I'm going to take you along the journey. Catch me on, what is it? January 14th. I'm going to have a vlog on my first day back. I'm also going to give y'all um, my room tour. It's my roommate. This is way overdue, but regardless, y'all get in it. But I'm so excited for this journey with YouTube, guys. So that concludes my video for today. And I'm just going to let y'all know that there is a lot of more content coming. I'm actually going to be recording a lot more. Um, we'll be vlogging a lot. You're going to see a lot of my college friends in there with me. Hopefully they last until my adulthood. But I'm going to have a lot of, you're going to see a lot of new faces. My friends are cute too. Don't hit them up. <laughs> they don't want you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But um, I'm going to take you on my weight loss journey. I'm going to take you on my weight loss journey. Um, I'm also going to be Y'all going to see. Y'all going to see. You just got to. Just gotta bear with me. You have to wait on it. Just know, I am definitely taking this YouTube stuff serious because Moja never sticks to anything that she wants to do other than freaking hair. If it doesn't involve hair, I never stick to it. But guys, I have a new camera, so I'm definitely gonna be recording. I have a lot more space, so I'm gonna be recording a lot. And I hope that you guys continue to support my channel. But make sure you always like, comment, and subscribe. Press the button down below. Peace, MG Squad.